Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to talk about title blocks. So if you create a project, so for example, uh, create a project from a, a te architectural template, and you, if you go to here, go to the shades, and open the shades, you will see, so, so there's already a Autodesk a title block here. And so if you want to, so for example, if you want to, uh, so this is A1, okay? So this is A1. And if you want to load a uh, different size, you can just go shade and new shade. And here, so you can click on this load. And this is in your uh, Revit family folder. So here, so we see the title blocks, and uh, these are some basic uh, size. So, for example, uh, we'll just uh, load this A3 and OK and OK. So now you will have another sheet here, so which is uh, A3. Okay, so A3, and you can you can always change the size, so the sheet, um, the title block size. So you can just from here. So okay. You can change the size anytime. So um, the easiest way to create your own title block is edit this one. Okay, so you you will see if you edit this family, all these are just lines, and this is a raster image. This is text, and so this is. A, a, a schedule, a revision schedule, and these are labels. Okay, so yeah, just select them. You will find the difference. Some of them are text, some of them are labels. Text means they are fixed. Okay, so they won't change. Label means um. They will change depending on what project you use, and they will get the information from a pro, uh, uh, parameters. So, for example, if I select this one, so this is a label, and then if I click Edit Label, so you will see this is the parameter, so from which uh, they will get the information from. So, uh, this parameter name is sheet name. Okay, so if I go back to the project and I go to manage, go to project information, you will see project name here. Okay, so whatever you type here, so for example, I'll just type in this text and OK, and then if I go to this sheet, so you will see, or maybe this one, see, uh, oh hell, this is on. Um, Oh, here, see, or oh, project um, name. So this information will be uh, depending on what that information is. And also you can type in. So if you type in here, it will also change directly, uh, change the project information, which is the project name. OK, so, okay, so let's go back to the title block. So now, if you wanted to create uh, your own title block, so easiest way is you can just um, so for example, you can if you need this client client name, you can just move it, and also you can change the size. So for example, currently this type is five millimeter. You can change them to different size. So for example, make it smaller. Okay, so project name maybe a. Uh, Bigger, so just keep that. And also, see this is important because uh, when you have your net project name, it might be short, but it might be longer than this. If it's longer than this point, so for example, it's longer uh, to here, and then it will change and change. Um, uh, what uh, what change change line? Okay, so for example, I'll just go edit a label, so and then I'll just sample value. So I'll just show you. So I'm typing here, okay, and I click OK, and you will see it will become uh, two, two, uh, two lines. 
and then and also you have this option to you know so for example this is a vertical align to the bottom so it will go up and if you change this to top when it's it's, it's longer it'll go down okay so it's all up to you so um and also if you don't want this to go outside of this shade you can just drag this to here okay so and then so let's just quickly do this shade name maybe uh no this will be the number okay so and then all these you can just uh let let's just quickly move them to here so for example um join and we don't need these lines just delete them okay oops sorry all right uh let's see if i can cancel it okay so you can delete all these lines oops oh hell yeah. what's going on here right, won't let me uh, anyway let's just okay just ignore this let me just delete this all we probably need revision because when you um, when you uh, you probably don't need it for early stage for schematic design, but for construction drawings or uh, later stage, you you need to have a revision um, schedule. So it's very important. So, but for now, I'll just delete this one. Oh, anyway, so, so let's just ignore the ignore this. Uh, I need to restart my rivet, but pretend this is finished. Once you finish, you can just save, save as, okay? So save as a family. So I'll just save it onto my desktop. So I'll just, um, um, title block, okay? And then once you save, you can load this into your project. Okay, so go to your shade and then you can select this one, select the title block. So usually you will uh, always change from the same uh, size. So, and then that's it. So now you have this new title block. So for example, you can have all your, your own logos. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. So it's just, um, from the existing so if you, if you let, me, let me just close this one and close this one so if you want to create a title block from scratch uh it's it's also very simple so let's do it so you can just create a new file family sorry and here you have this so this is a family uh, template so folder, and then you will see this title blocks, and in here you will also see these different sizes. So let's oh let's create an A3, okay? So open, and then so these are the size. So if I do dimension, so you will see. Uh, so this is the size of A3 paper, so 420 by 297. Okay, so don't just you can just uh, leave. Oh, hang on. Uh, my rev is broken. I, I need to restart, but let's just ignore it. So, so this is an empty uh, title block. Okay, so then next you just need to add line. So, for example, line. So, you can choose different width. So, for example, uh, median line. I'll just roughly do it. Okay, so for example, I'll just do a, this. And then I'll just add another line here. So for example, and then I'll just do here and then this will be my logo. Okay. How about this? Okay, so this is my logo. And then you can have, you know, different uh, labels for different information. So for now, this is a project uh, name. So, uh, and also project uh, address maybe, and then you can have all these, um, uh, maybe this is for uh, revision schedule and all, you can have all these for, you know, uh, for name, who's uh, drafty, who's the designer, and then, and then last, you can have uh, shade numbers and scales okay so 
how to add those labels. So you can go to create. So um, for symbols, I recommend uh, use try to use uh, if, if you can do field regions and you can create your la uh, logos here. That's a that's a I think that's the best. Uh, I don't like have a raster image in title block because when you export to uh, CAD DWG, um, you won't see you uh, you will have issue. Okay, so field regions best. And okay, so text if if you know if if the text is uh, so for my text what what the you can use text for those so for example uh, oops too big uh, let let me change to a smaller one maybe edit type duplicate uh, maybe uh, three point five millimeter and change the size to three point five and maybe bold okay and then this will be project project name for example and then that's it so this text will stay here and will never change okay and then here you can add a label so for here so just click on here and these are all the parameters uh, uh, associated to the sheet and the project information. So for example, for project name, it's a project name. You just click on here and then that's so this is the example. Okay, you can you can you can change this for example uh, okay so how to spell resident R E S I D E N yeah. Okay, and then, and also you can have a you know, try to uh, have a sense of you know the size looks like it's too big, and then you can just change this to edit type, uh, maybe a uh, five millimeter, and okay, and then change the size five, and maybe bold, and click okay. Yeah, I think that's. That's that's better, and then you can decide how you want to align this. So, and maybe uh, try to not go outside of the shade, and stop here, and then also left top. I think that's okay. So, in case uh, when you know when when the when the name becomes longer, so and it will go down. Okay, so Control Z, Control Y, yep, yeah, that's good. So make sure it stays in this box. So next, so you can, it's the same, so you can just add all these, uh, can copy them, copy these, and then change, you know, change the list, for example, uh, address, and then you can copy this, copy labels as well. You can copy a label and then edit label, change, go remove that, and then change the parameter. So address, for example, and that's it. So yeah, just repeat everything here. And then for this one, uh, maybe uh, this one should, oh, will be the revision schedule. So revision schedule is, um, let's have a look. Not here. Oh, something's. Um, where's revision schedule? Uh, insert not here. View here. So you'll see on the view tab, there is revision schedule. So click on revision schedule, and then you can choose. So these are the default um, revision sequence, revision number. I'm not sure about sequence number yes description yes uh, date yes so I think that's all good okay so let's create it okay and then close it and then go to view on the schedule this is the revision schedule so drag this onto here uh, looks like we need to uh, maybe you can 
double click it and change this. So for example, uh, change the size, maybe go, let's go, uh, hang on, where do I go, change the appearance. Um, sorry, oh yeah. So here, yeah, so appearance, you can change the size or currently the uh, schedule default. You can change, oh, so that's all the, only this type. So what we need to do is we need to go back to, go back to this title block. So we can add a text, TX, add a text and then edit type, duplicate. And for example, I'll just add, uh, create a new one. So 1.8 millimeter, for example. And okay, and ch and just change this one to 1.8, maybe uncheck the bolt. Um, I think it's all good. Okay, so click okay. And then go back, you can cancel the text and go back, go back your uh, revision schedule and appearance so now you will have this option so 1.8 so you can change all everything to 1.8 and i think um click ok so and close it yeah i think that's that's better so maybe we don't yeah it's up to you uh you can you can uh maybe we don't need that so you just need to go here and uncheck the I'll check the title maybe and click OK. Go close it. Yep. So now you just need to adjust the size. Okay. So, so for example, uh, I'll just adjust this. Um, <laughs> yep. Revision number. Maybe you can just uh, even. It's too long. Um, maybe we don't even. We do, actually, we, I think we probably we don't need them in the schedule you can just uncheck this one we can always have uh, where's my set oh here it's here so you can have this schedule just showing nothing but you can have those as text so for example you can just add text here so revision number okay so for example this and then you can just have it here just use in text instead of you know it, it's up to you um, you can also do it here so let, let's just try show the headers and maybe maybe let's reduce the description okay so revision number just make it shorter so maybe I'll just this uh, date okay so so yeah i think that's better maybe i'll oh, just delete the text so i think that's that's good and then we will have this revision schedule so here and then the same you can always uh, add text you can have different size text you can have labels for different parameter and also different size for the labels as well as well and once you finish and that's it that's your own uh, title block so this is a three just just save this as a family so i will say a three my title block and then you can load this into your project and go to uh, this sheet so this is a three so select this one change to your title block okay and then that's it and then you will see this information will automatically uh, match the project uh, information so if i change anything here oops sorry uh here and then it will go in there so so uh Okay, so we'll go there. And also, so sheet numbers, sheet names, you'll go, you just need to add uh, the text and the labels. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.